Hey guys, um, I just got a package in the mail, not just because it's nighttime, but this afternoon got a package in the mail from uh, a good friend of mine that I met uh, on PrepperLog.com. He doesn't know it yet, but this is what he got me. <laughs> um, I'll tell him after, or he'll see this video and, and laugh at it. He knows who he is. He's actually PrepperLog on YouTube, so check him out. He's got a couple videos. Hasn't done any for a while, but I'm trying to convince him to get back into the swing of things um, so what he ended up getting me was the Magpul Myad grip in flat dark earth um, I've never installed one of these but I think I know how to do it I've test fitted it so yeah I guess I have installed it essentially but uh, mine was really really tight so what I did was I took a really cheap set of files that I got from Walmart. Yeah, super cheap. I think they were like seven bucks. Took a file and just filed down the inside here. You can't hardly see it because, yeah, there's too much shit. There we go. Yeah, just filed down the inside a little bit. You don't want to do it too much. You don't want it to be loose because then your grip's going to wiggle. So just a smidge to help. You know, loosen it up a little bit so I could slide it on there better. Um, and when you're removing a grip on an AR-15, you want to look at the orientation of this hole. They should always be on this side, but sometimes you might forget if it's on the right or left side. It's on the right side because that is where a spring is in the, in the AR. And you want to be careful that you don't lose that spring because it puts tension on your selector switch to make sure that that you know, operates uh, properly. So anyways, all you need to do for this, I guess, let me tell you what comes with the, the grip when you buy it. You get the grip, you get this back strap, you get this front strap, which is removable. Um, the back strap is too, but I don't feel like removing it right now because it's kind of, a, it's a little more solid. Um, this comes out, you can put extra things in the butt of it, so comes with that you get one extra front strap which is the same as the other one it just doesn't have the extra little finger groove as you can see finger groove not finger groove you get a solid back back strap so basically just like the normal look of a air 15 grip and then you get the fat one this one's you can you can see it's a little bit fatter here so I've opted to just stay with the one that it comes with for now, just to see how it works. It feels good in my hand, so I don't really need the big fat part up here yet. I have small hands, so I don't know if it would actually do anything for me or not. So, I'm going to try it out as it comes. Um, it also comes with a roll pin to stick through that hole right there. God damn, I wish my camera would focus. But yeah, roll pin. To go into that little tiny hole. There we go. And it comes with the bolt screw, sorry, with Loctite on it. That's what that, if you see bolts or screws or whatever the hell, um, with that little splotch of stuff on it, it's not paint, that's Loctite. So once you get that in there, that'll really help. Or that probably won't, that'll help it from coming loose. So you shouldn't have any problems. You can actually buy Loctite and put it on pretty much everything you use for your AR-15. Like I suggest if you're doing a quad rail on the front, you do some Loctite on the screws that go in there. So you got those, those come with it. And then all you need to really do it is a flathead screwdriver. So without further ado, I'm going to jab this in here. Perhaps. Alright. And I like to hold it down a little bit. That way, you know, it doesn't pop off. That spring won't come popping out. So, I think it's almost there. Pretty close. Alright. And there she comes. Now, as you can see... I pulled it up slowly, 
there, that little line right there, you can barely see because my camera won't focus on it. That is the spring for your selector switch. So you want to make sure you don't lose that. See, just a little tiny spring. About yay big. I spend more time trying to get my camera to focus than I do on showing you guys any useful stuff. So, then you take that spring and yeah, just pop it in that hole. Put it in there. And reverse the process. So, basically just slide it on there make sure your spring finds the little recess there is a little recess on the AR so you can kind of set it in there so it doesn't go anywhere and then push down like I said this one was pretty tight I had to file it down just a smidge and now that it's filed down that thing fits on there pretty solidly um, obviously you can't screw in the retaining screw with that butt plate on so this is probably going to be the hard part but I don't think you guys shit <laughs> all right I'm sure everybody knows how to screw a screw in it's just hard getting it down in there I'm probably getting it started because god damn it it's got to be an easy way to do it and a hard way to do it. And I always end up doing things the hard fucking way. So, let's see. If I can get the little bitch to go. got it started Ugh, keep slipping off those itches She's pretty much tight. Give her a half a crank and she stopped. So, that's how you do it. I got a flat dark earth mag, P mag, and the mag pull myad grip. And as you can tell, I'm kind of transforming my AR. I'll probably end up getting a new butt stock and a new. I want to get an AFG2 for this thing. AFG2, and then I'll probably get some flat dark earth rail covers, and she'll be done. Yeah. Anyways, that is how you can install a Magpul um, Myad pistol grip for your AR 15. And they fit and feel really nice once you get them on there. I like the, the checkering on them a lot better than the standard AR-15 one. And uh, this is this is my, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, this is just a DPMS um, flat top, or not flat top, <laughs> carry top receiver. Nothing special about it. Um, got it pretty, pretty good priced from a guy whose brother passed away, so... That wasn't good, but he had no use for it, so he sold it to me, and it had been fired very little times. It had very little wear on it. And since I've got it, I put quad rail on it. I do have a video up of that. Um, I also put on, obviously, the vert grip, and then the pistol grip. That's all I've done to this thing so far, except for shoot it, and it shoots like a dream. I mean, 
no issues there whatsoever. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you guys have any comments, obviously leave them. If you have any uh, complaints, I'm sure you'll leave them too because people love to bitch, including me. So, thanks for watching, and we'll check you guys later. Check you later. Check you later.